Okay, back to our uh, PT Cruiser here. Uh, testing the EVAP system, just figuring out a way to test the switch here. What I do is I got my scanner set up to the functional test, which when you do functional tests, you cannot have the vehicle running. You have to have just the key on. And where we're at is we're at the NVLD solenoid test. I got the, uh, oops, let me just unplug that. I got the smoke machine set up here. What we're displaying is pressure or vacuum in water column. We'll plug this back in here. And what I got here is vacuum pump. Just a handheld vacuum pump. And what I'll do is I'll start pulling a vacuum here. And we can see as soon as we get up, oh, about half a whatever and half inch water column. That if we watch our the NVLD switch, which is the electrical contacts in the, in the solenoid, that as soon as we start pulling a little bit of vacuum on here, we got like 0.8 registering, that we can see that our switch is closed. So we know now that our contacts are good in the switch. And then since we're on the functional test here, I'll just hit the, uh, hit the on button. And as soon as we activate the solenoid, we lose all that vacuum in the tank we're down to zero so we know it'll so we know our vent line isn't plugged or anything and what I always thought but I'm wrong about this like normal is that when you activated the NVLD solenoid you can hear it clicking back there and you can watch it on the graph here and you could back probe it and you could watch it but what I know what I always thought was when you when you activated the solenoid that the switch would that when the solenoid would open and close that the switch would also open and close but that's not the case it's vacuum or pressure that makes the switch uh, actually vacuum that closes the contacts in the switch so we'll turn this back off so our solenoid is no longer activated and we'll, suck, we'll pull a little bit of vacuum in there and we can see as soon as we do that that once again our switch contacts are closed and we can watch it right there on the scanner sorry about the lighting in here and in a bad spot but it's the only place I could be for where I got the car right now so that's about it that, I just wanted to figure out a way that you could actually test the contacts without too much trouble I got the smoke machine into the into the test port I took the Schrader valve out of the test port so that there's no there's no uh, conflict there make sure that uh, sometimes when you when you put the hose on the Schrader valve it doesn't necessarily push it in so I just removed it now you see even that our vacuum is holding and we can see our, our switch is also staying closed so this isn't really a test for a small leak test it's just to test the uh, to see that the contact points in there are actually working so it's, it doesn't take a whole lot of vacuum to uh, to move that diaphragm in the NVLD I can uh, release the vacuum here but that's not it's so little vacuum that it doesn't even seem to have any effect on here I have to actually unhook the hose to to make it drop and we'll do that and we can see as soon as we unhooked our hose here that uh, once again our switch opened up so I guess that's about it I was just trying to figure out a way to test the switch and everything else I did didn't work but finally with the vacuum gun I think I figured out a good way to test these switches so that's about it